Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom. Now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt the hole in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Bugs and guys we got some more news ish mish mish and you already know how I do it I don't hit you with the one or two news I hit you with a whole bunch of news and again I wasn't really expecting to do a video like this like I said I was really expecting for you know the big news on their actual like page you know whether it's the trailer new characters or the playtest but no Tony says some interesting things throughout these past couple of days and let's get straight into it guys now the first main thing i probably clicked on this video because of the title was the economy king being a playable character hello tony tweets this out on the 30th saying what's the interest level and huh <laughs> um definitely not one of my top picks for this game but i feel, i believe all fighters should definitely have that meme character and i guess that's what condiment king is gonna most likely be uh, i know a lot of people might be disappointed because they feel like he shouldn't be a base roster but well any characters you know should be in this game you don't really know who's gonna be what and who's gonna be the king or the throne or a joke of a character who knows he might be a joke of a character but his play style and what he his moveset could actually be one of the top tier players you never know but yeah tony nice curveball right there now i wouldn't be surprised if he's in the game <laughs> um going on to our next question will be ryan and ryan pretty much kind of again from the title kind of leaked this for us tony kind of possibly slipped up or maybe i'm just interpreting it this wrongly but let's get into it so what ryan pretty much said he said team ben tenson uh, from ben 10 franchise seems to be the most requested character for mvs multiple people have been given great ideas on how um he can work in the game as well does that mean the requirement um you've noted um you've mentioned one of your earlier tweets tony says hi thanks the team and i've heard the request going to see what we can do now if you don't know and then it was one of those leaks um, that came out before the game was pretty much announced. And, you know, some people thought, you know, these characters not in anymore or they just didn't meet the requirements. And I think, not saying Tony slipped up, but I think Tony might have, you know, jumped the gun on this by accident. Pretty much saying how him and the team heard the request and they're going to get onto it pretty much. Or, or it could just be like, okay, we see a high request for Ben 10. Let's try to get something working and get that IP holder to want to work with us pretty much. So it could be two things. So I could be totally misinterpreting what he's saying or Tony might have did the oops, I, you know, effed up. <laughs> Let's move on. Uh, and then finally from at least Twitter, which we'll get into our, you know, our main things that I would love to talk to you about. We have my man Blue Blaze and he says, is there more suggestions than a vi uh, more than a question? But can you guys drop videos on how you drew the characters in their bios and multi versus website i really like the art style of these drawings and i want to draw like that and tony said thanks for the question i'll bring it up to john and the art team that's amazing man i just love how tony loves to respond to these questions you know like i said they're hard working and really focused onto this game but when tony has time he has time and he talks to everybody but guys these next information i'm gonna be giving y'all is actually not from twitter what from the multiverses arcade yes guys if you haven't already joined this discord this is pretty much like the number one community discord that yeah must join look at this beautiful art style that they made up like like this is amazing and not only that it has tony and now it has rigar and i'm sorry if i'm saying your name wrong but now we have two pfg devs in this discord what are you doing join up on this discord now and Guess what? If you played the playtest, yeah, I'm talking to you. You, yeah, you played the playtest and you've been craving to talk about the game, then come on now and, and join us in the NDA chat where we personally talk to Tony and we talk about stuff that others can't talk about. But yeah, let's get on to these um, questions that Tony had asked in the um, Discord, not the NDA. You know, obviously we can't talk about that, but he's talking to the to the um, the general like chat and stuff. You know, where stuff that he is saying. That he hasn't posted on Twitter or hasn't been asked on Twitter. Now let's get straight into that. Now the first question we have is about my boy L Chris, and pretty much he said that will there be a, like a clash system in this game where two enemies hit at the same time and no one gets a hit, rather a bounce back? And I think that's an amazing question because I'm just you know throwing my own information in this. But when I played Brahala, yeah, I felt like they did have that for certain times, but most of the times 
Um, I don't know. I just felt like certain weapon was just more overpowered, especially like signatures. I really feel like signatures should definitely clash more. There were many times where I felt like it went through each other because this person the thing is a little bit different, so I got the hit. I don't know. I feel like some things was. I don't know. I, I, I expect some stuff to be more clashes, but there wasn't. But, you know, that's just my opinion. I just want to throw that out there. But, what Tony much pretty much said, he said, we'll have to see. We're still working on the combat system, and things will change over time. So, not prepared to talk about this. So, him saying this must mean that they're still working on the gameplay. You know, they're still tweaking out to see what they want and what they prefer in the game. Awesome, man. Moving on, we have my boy Color um, Blind. He said Zero Way um, WB is going to allow a character with no worldwide appeal to be included. And Tony says, Well, I mean, WB did let us make rain there, so I wouldn't count cool characters that have yet to reach really a large appeal yet. Mm, that is true, you know. They made Rain Dog. Rain Dog's a brand new character. Who's to say that's a character that is not very popular could get into this game? Like I said, guys, any character is possible. But in a reasonable setting, for example, I'm pretty sure Tony has said this many times. Like I said, if you keep up with Tony, he said that there's just a lot of... There's there's like a, a trial and error that they have to go through with the characters to see if they're worth putting into the game, you know? They can't just put any character in the game just because people want into the game. If it has no real movesets or anything to benefit in the game and enjoyable to play with or play against, there, there's just no possibility of having it. But if, you know, it hits all those credentials, then... You could definitely see that character in the game, and I love that about um, Tony and their team. Moving on, uh, we have a question from my butt, and he said, Hey, Tony, one last thing. How much freedom do you guys have in the game? He said, We so far have had a lot of freedom. If we think it's going to be cool gameplay or that players will like it, we ask, and they've generally been good with it. That's amazing. And following up with that, he also said, um, The Shaggy skins, I thought for sure they would say no, but they're in the game. Haha. -ha. Hmm, some shaggy skins. Uh, the only shaggy skin I could probably think about because they showed us, you know, this same gameplay that I've been seeing for a month and a half or two months now. Tony, please, new trailer. <laughs> but you know, uh, will be like I think it was it what the the Lee, the Lee skin. Yeah, I think think the like the the Lee skin. Um, and you know, I think that's probably one of them. Hilarious, and I can't wait to see the rest that they have in plan for us. Now, uh, the next following question, guys, by Colorblind. He said, I gotta have merchandise and sell to the OG, so no surprise that WB allowed a cute, fluffy guy named Rain Dog to be in the game. And Tony said, Yeah, we could get some plushies or something. Oh, that's amazing. Just just hearing that from Tony means that they see this game as a long term, you know? They don't see this game as a money and grab. All right, ne on to the next project. This is definitely a game that they want to see grow and develop and have merchandise for it and etc love it love it love it man the next question we have is by jacko and he said ideally would you guys want an equal amount of characters for each class and he said yes but that's been hard haha <laughs> so obviously yeah we definitely always want to have a balance of characters of how many and like different type of classes but it's always impossible or not impossible but you know there's a creative mindset behind it and you have to not limit yourself in one direction because you can't figure it out in another direction so even though they're going to possibly try their best to do it, they're always going to think about more characters for this class or these two classes or even possibly three classes while two classes might be left behind a little bit. For example, if you don't know, um, Wonder Woman is the only tank character that we know of in this um, playing roster while everything else is, you know, mage, assassin, bruiser, a support, you know. The tank is literally like, uh, hey guys, I'm, I'm right here, you know. So, you know, we'll have to see down the line what they continue with. So this one is not um, a question, just more like, I guess, a update on, you know, the whole news situation. And Tony just says, I don't mind questions. Sorry we haven't given more news. Mostly we are just working through the feedback from the last test. Guys, I'm not going to lie. I am very impatient, just like y'all. But just hearing these type of stuff from them just reminds me that this isn't a 1-2-3 game that they're trying to do. This is not no... Haha, <laughs> characters, haha, <laughs> basic fighting, haha, <laughs> here you go. No, Tony and the team, player game first, or player first game, wants this to be a long term game. They want this to be a triple A game. Remember, these guys aren't your new devs or thing. These are vet devs, and they don't look like they're, they're vet devs that's just looking for a bag. They look like they're vet devs that's trying to make a new company. And be a triple A from the jump. And I love that. Alright. The next question we have is by Fimeu. And he said. Can you create your own character moves or something else? 
And Tony said, all killing pleading comes from us, but the IP holders can object. They haven't yet. We try to be really familiar with the characters, though, so the gameplay is authentic. So, yeah, um, they definitely do make everything from us watching this stuff. But, you know, obviously, they have to hit the marks on their characters. You know, they want the characters, and not only just to please the IP holder, but they want the character to feel like the character, you know? They want the players to be like, oh yeah, this is how I expect Batman to play. Or, oh yeah, I can see these moves being this person's moveset, you know, and going forward with that. Next question will be Mr. Sausage. And he said, so who exactly came up with the NDA part? Was it the Warner Brothers or you guys? And Tony said the December test was our first time showing the game and it was to help us learn. The changes we put in based on the learning from the test makes the game very different. So that test is not accurate account of the game even as it is currently oh see so the reason why they had the nda thing wasn't to like i guess not to leak stuff well i mean obviously but because the game is ever changing and they don't want people to say oh yeah yeah, this is gonna be in the game this is in the game in the in the in the play test so it's gonna be in the official release and then it's not there and then pretty much what they said is that the gameplay that we played if you are a play tester that we played in the december play test but his new playtest, it is not even close to what we, um, you know, played. So that is um, that's something to keep in mind, you know. I definitely can't wait to see the improvements that they did for this game. Moving on, we have a question by L. Criso, and he said, Tony, is there a FPS limit? He said, the game is currently locked at 60 FPS. Now, yeah, I think... I think all fighters are locked at that just for the fact that it's all fair on all platforms. But I, like I said, I would love to see an increase, at least for like custom games and like local play, because I think that would just be amazing. You know, for the PS5 to have 144 and then for PC to have the 240 or 360, just so the game feels, I guess, smoother and stuff. It especially will help out with um, lands, you know, when people do in the future. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's move on. <laughs> uh, the next question we have, again, is by El Cristo. He said, Tony, I don't know if you will answer this, but. If you guys get a chance to collab with another game, will they play like they play in their respective game and, you know, cut off? And he said, we will make sure the character plays the way players expect them to play. Like, for example, like I just said, like with the with the um, with the whole IP thing is like, yeah, um, they might not have the same moveset as, you know, where they came from. But they all have similar stuff or like from their TV show or from their game, you know, stuff that they can do. It'll be probably like limited a different way and stuff, for example. I don't really have an example, but you know what I mean. Like certain stuff that will seem spammy, they probably won't have in the game, and go on a different route, pretty much. Um, next question is by Fate, and Fate pretty much actually um says, "What platform find was Multiverses inspired by the most?" And Tony said, "We look at everything, but we looked at Melee the closest." And that's funny because I'm pretty sure I heard like Melee was like the best platform fighter, or felt like the best, or something, something like that. I heard, I heard something like that. And he continues on saying, uh, but we are try really hard to look at everything with fresh eyes. So we're making the right decision for the players and that we have our own voice. That's amazing. Can't wait to see that, man. I, I really can't wait for this game to drop, man. <laughs> uh, next question we have is by Sickle Pug. And he said, I noticed this bread in Ari's battle pass. Is it that type of currency? Oh, well, this give you some kind of in-game advantage. And Tony just says, it's called toast. So we have a confirmed, guys. Let's go. It's not called bread. It's not called this and that. It is toast. What does Toast do? Still don't know. We just have to wait to see until they announce it or, you know, for the early access or when the game releases pretty much. So this next thing isn't a question but more of a statement and pretty much they're talking about um, Steven here. And Honey pretty much um, says that his skin tone has been fixed already as well, what I could tell from. And Tony says, we updated Steven's model as well to enlarge his head and adjust his eyes. Thanks. So remember guys, if y'all ever see anything off with a character or looks a little bit off, Tony and the team is always down to fix it, um, you know, visually. Um, they already did it with Garnet because I'm pretty sure Garnet had, like, eye, not an eye problem, but, like, all her eyes were the same. But in the show, you know, all three of her eyes were different colors. So, if you ever see a character that you really like or notice that a character um, doesn't look like itself, you know, let them know and they'll try their best to fix it or they see what you see and, you know, agree with you on it and fix it pretty much. Someone pretty much asked that will we see like new skins and stuff in like trailers and stuff and Tony said we'll put something in the trailer to showcase it hopefully it's up to par. If it isn't well we'll go back and address it again and we'll keep going until it's right. See? So like I said if you see any character skins or anything that is not correct from the show or from the game or wherever they came from let the team know and Tony will you know 
get it fixed moving on we have a question by board and board pretty much says tony what is now shaggy's actual power is it tier zero which meaning like a broken character like for example i think dragon ball z has instinct goku and i guess he's tier zero because he's like you know surpass you know pre pretty much should be the most unbeatable character but obviously this has to nerf him a little bit but he is still probably one of the brokenest character in that game don't know don't quote me on that but yeah and he says i mean now you made it official can you put the level of his power and tony says haha i think shaggy is playing down to the com competition to not hurt their feelings too bad so i don't think at least from reading this it doesn't look like shaggy is in his own tier as in like he's some broken crazy character um i'm gonna take this as they not say nerfed him but you know obviously made him playable and fightable against and not just like oh yeah you play this character you're never gonna lose type stuff so that's good to hear moving on to the next question we have canal and this is what i mean guys like when you see something it will get fixed so canal uh canal said okay tony i don't want to sound rude but can you please remove the line friendship power that steven says he will never say that and many fans would be pretty much be butthurt about it you know they, they like they know that he would never say that so why would that be a line me in the game and tony said we've removed the lines thanks so like i said tony is listening now i'm pretty sure he wasn't the only one to probably bring this up in like tweets and stuff or discord because you know i doubt tony would just listen to one person and be like all right it's gone you know <laughs> but um yeah this is this is prime example that if you say something tony will get it done guys uh and then finally not really what was this a question yeah it's a question i guess and it's by Jay the Gamer, and he says the question is, what aspects of Multiverse's current game development has been the most challenging for you and your team so far? Tony says, I think each IP and getting approvals and ironing out that process has been the hardest, but it gets better every day, and we are going to work really hard to make sure the characters live up to the fan and IP um, holder expectations. They are trusting us with their babies after all, and I want to reward that trust. You see, guys, like it's pretty much what I said. It's like they want the characters to play as close to what the character has come out to from their shows from their games etc they want this like i said this game this game they want this game to be a long-term game they want this to be a triple a game to probably have two to three maybe four maybe even five maybe even ten years down the line of people still playing this game obviously they probably might you know rework it remaster it you know multiverses 2 you know all that like how smash does but they definitely want this game to grow they don't want this to be no all right we got your money <laughs> oh we're out just by like i said every time i read tony messages it just gives me comfort <laughs> that fortnite never gave <laughs> not nah, let me stop but you know it just definitely gives me a lot of trust for them you know i definitely trust them with this game and i can't wait to see the official outcome for the game uh that's it for the video guys leave a like if you like the video comment anything you know i love y'all comments like i said if y'all haven't joined the multiverses arcade discord number one community discord for multiverses please join it it will be in the description and this is the first time everyone watching my videos. Don't forget to subscribe button, guys. And I'm out. Peace. Yeah, she got a man. She don't really give a fuck about left him back home in a whole nother state. Moved to LA because she want to be famous. Got another five on the side. She a waitress. But it's getting tough. Hard to find.